Hello everybody, I'm Invisible Thief and welcome to episode 9 on my Let's Play on Terraria Journey's End. In the last episode, I'm going, or in the last episode, I went to go explore the underground, the underground snow biome and then ended up fighting the Eye of Cthulhu. And if you watched the last episode, then you would know that this is directly after. I only planned on making two videos today, but because of this, I'm going to be making three, which means that my throat is not going to be happy with me. So, the goblin army is approaching from the east, which is not, not a nice thing to see. So, first thing to do is barricade all of the doors from the outside. Normally I barricade them from the inside, but I'm going to barricade them from the outside because the goblins will break down the doors. So I want to make sure that all of my NPCs are safe, but oh dear. Here they come. Oh no, that's the wrong thing. I didn't mean to, to teleport away. Okay, let me block off all entrances. Oh, the goblin warrior looks looks different. Oh dear. Uh, oh yes, the demolitionist is really... The goblin thieves look different. All of these goblins look different. Ah, explosions. Here we go. Let me recall out of the, that place. Then I can use the boomstick to hopefully take on this event. Because this event is not the easiest. Though, I do have a boomstick, which should make it a lot easier. It's a bit annoying that the war, the goblin war, warriors do not take very much knockback. Ooh, spiky ball. They got a bit of a re-sprite, which is very nice. Anyway. I'm... this shouldn't be that much of a problem because I did actually... I do have a lot more than you'd normally have. I do like the new sprites. The new sprites for all of the, the enemies and whatnot. Because they look a lot better, actually. Like, it's, it's still similar to what it was before, but it, it's just... it's just different. And I like that. And after I be able to, after I do this, then I'll be able to get the uh, the Goblin Tinkerer, which is very good. I hear shooting over to the to the right. I'm sure it's fine. It's probably just the painter being locked out, which is which is always fine. There we go. There goes the painter, which means that I now should be able to get some ah, some new painter and potentially even a item, which will be quite good. So let me. Ah, let me not die from arrows coming at me from this guy or any other sort of thing that will be able to kill me because everything wants to kill me. I wonder if these spiky balls can be made into anything new or anything for that matter. Nope, nope, just just spiky balls. Same, same old, same old, same, same old thing. Same old spiky, spiky, spiky thing. Anyway. So, this is going good. I'm at 24% done with the event, which is a lot better than I expected at this point. I expected it to be a bit harder. I don't know why. But this boomstick is really helping out. Because if I did not have it, I know that I would be struggling a lot. Like, I would be trying to, to beat them with the, with the coil thing. Actually, let me try the leather whip. Because I haven't tried the leather whip. I can kind of kind of spam it and then you can see a little, a little ring around the enemy which seems to uh, indicate that that's what the minions are going to attack and do more damage to so that's that's interesting oh no my gold goblin thieves stole my gold curse you other thieves i am meant to be the only thief around these here parts so if you could kindly give back my gold that I stole from your fallen, uh, fallen companions. I will gladly be taking my money back. Thank you very much. This isn't actually that bad of a, of an arena kind of place, because I have two le two levels, and if I there's too many enemies up here, there can be enemies down here. I can move them down. So it's a, it's actually quite a quite a good arena, and unintentionally, but but it is quite good. I I like how the why did my HUD disappear? What happened? What what? Ha, I did not press anything. I did I did not press anything. Where's my HUD gone? I cannot see my HUD. What happened? What 
What happened? The HUD disappears when you when you press F11. But I did not press F11. That was so weird. And not nice at all. I did not appreciate that. I like how the whip will attack multiple enemies though. That's nice. But I did not like how my HUD just disappeared like that. I did not like that at all. I also don't like the, the goblin archers. Oh no. The graves are starting to build up, which means that it's starting to turn into a a graveyard. Which is not good. I had everything under control. No, every I was I was taking care of the enemy so well. And then and now this happens. Oh no. Why did I have to say that it was easier? I'm at forty four percent and now I've just Oh no. Okay. You love make sure that I take out the as many enemies as I possibly can. I forget that I keep forgetting that I can dash into enemies. Keep forgetting that. I really shouldn't, because it's something that I that I should utilize to the best of my abilities. So, let me take out these enemies and make sure that I do not die from the ones that might be trying to kill me from above. So, let me go here. Okay. This is good. Back back to back to being in control and not just dying from a whole lot of enemies. That being said, the goblin mages, or whatever they're called, goblin sorcerers, are not making that it that easy. Let me break that. Here we go. Oh, that person has like a has a close range like like swipe attack. The the zoologist has a close range swipe attack to attack enemies. Though they are they weren't actually hitting the enemy. Probably because they expect the enemies to come closer. Which does make sense, but it didn't happen that time. I'm gonna try to go up to the higher level, because that is safer, I think. That then again, there are a whole lot of enemies. Actually, these spiky balls are doing quite a lot of damage against the enemies, which is always good. I didn't expect them to be that this effective. But they are, which is good. I always like when things are more expect or more effective against enemies than I than I expected because that means that I'm able to take out enemies a bit more. I'm gonna try to get rid of a few of the, the gravestones because I do not need them just going around the place and killing enemies. I know that I can get more NPCs spawning in because I well I killed the the I have Cthulhu, which means that I can get the Dryad, which will be quite a useful NPC, I think. Actually, will they? Will, will they, actually? I don't know. I, I forget. What what does the Dryad... What does the Dryad sell? They'll probably like to live at the surface place. that Or the jungle. They'll probably want to live at the surface or the jungle. Ah, I... Why did I do that? Why did I just stay inside of the enemy and just... And keep trying to attack them with my boomstick. That didn't go very well. My throat is not happy. At all. My throat's not happy. So, uh, mm, I'm not sure how long this episode's going to end up being. Though, I'm going to probably... It'll probably end up being shorter. Because I'm just planning on... On looking at... On beating the goblin army. And then having a look at the underground... Uh, spider mime, which I wanted to look at in the last episode. Ooh, harpoon. That can be quite good, especially better than the than the leather whip, which I I like, but it's it's not not good. This is actually working about the same as as it was before. I've already beaten 50 goblin sorcerers. There have been a lot of goblin sorcerers. Anyway, let me where's the spiky balls here? Let me throw a couple of these around the place to hopefully be able to take out some of these enemies. Let me hop up actually to try and do damage on aerial attack. Do a bit of a bit of an aerial attack on these enemies. They're dropping down there. I do not need those goblin archers to take me out because I've already had enough trouble. Oh no, they've attacked the cat. They've attacked town cat town cat was it town cat Tilly. Town cat Tilly. No, they cannot they cannot Take down the town cat Tilly. Anything but that. Oh, I am out of spiky balls. 
means that I'm going to go in mono a mono. Actually, now that I, or after I defeat this, I'll be able to get the Goblin Tinkerer, which is a very good NPC because it allows me to upgrade my accessories and also buy new accessories and also reforge my items. So there we go. The Goblin Army has been defeated, although some are still sticking around and still might kill me because that's, that's just what they do. Though they do seem to be ignoring me because I've defeated them, except for this archer. This archer is not not ignoring, ignoring me, definitely not. So, let me take them out, and there we go. And just like that, the goblin army was defeated. And everything goes back to normal, which is a lot better than before. Here we go, it's a lot more peaceful. A lot, lot more peaceful. Anyway. Oh, I actually got it. Uh, Dryad. Uh, that name. Uh, happiness. All is peaceful. All is peaceful. Don't mess it up. Ah, uh, invisible world is 10% cropped. Ah, that's not good. What do you sell? Oh, tall grass seeds, wild flower seeds, blue flower seeds, violet flower seeds, magenta flower seeds, pink flower seeds, red flower seeds, yellow flower seeds, and white flower seeds. That is quite nice. And they also sell some, some basic stuff there. That is, oh, blocked off. That is quite good. I didn't realize that I had gotten a dried. Do I have any other NPCs that I don't know about? Uh, no, no, I don't. Let me actually move the merchant down here because that will, that's a, it's just more convenient if they're down here and not off someplace. Anyway, I'm gonna put these spiky balls and the leather whip in a chest because I don't really need them. Oh, I got a painter of the exact same name as the last painter, huh. I didn't think that it would be at the same name, but it is. Same name as the last one, which is, is, is all right. You can see that some of my NPCs have taken out some of the goblins. So, now, I'm gonna go down into the mine, hope I find a goblin tinker. If I don't, then that's fine. It's just a minor little, little side thing that I want. Uh, the my entrance is here. Actually, do you sell anything new? Lizard tail and lizard ears. Okay, so your shops actually swap around. Okay, that is interesting. Actually, let me look at the beast here. Uh, who's new? You. The jungle. Okay, so the dryad likes the jungle. And is anyone else new? N nope. All right, in that case, I'm going to continue down here. I might be able to find a stylist down here. Or in the jungle. Not the jungle. In the spider biome, I might be able to find a stylist, which can change my hair, which I am planning on doing because this character's hair is different than my character's hair in my other series. So, so I, I didn't mean for that to happen. So I want to change it because it is annoying me. And I do not, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it and I want the other hair. Unless of course there's a, there's another hair which I like better. Then again, uh, I, I don't know. Anyway, this is a lot. Those those little bits there look different than than before. Oh, there's wall wall creepers. Not nice. Not nice. Not nice. Fall back. Fall back. Spiders. No. No bad. Nope. 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 Spiders. Nope. 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 Oh, they're coming from both sides. Nope. Go up, go up, hide. 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 Kill the spiders. Kill the spiders. Kill them with shotgun. It's the it's the only way. There we go. There we go. There we go. Much nicer without the without the spiders. Uh, I might want to use the the Balu hurt to actually take out some of these the cobwebs because uh, there is a lot of cobwebs in this area. So let me try and take them out and also light up the area. Hope that I can that I can light everything up so that I can see if there's any spiders coming my way because then I will be able to take them out. I hope. There's actually a chest here. If there's not a chest here, I'll be very annoyed because I want some special spider loot. Because that can be quite, quite good. Okay, there's a spider behind me, but I'm gonna keep going this way instead. There is quite a lot of... There's quite a, quite a good sized spider biome. I sadly... Oh! Oh, I was about to say I can't see any chests. But here's one right here, which is very, very good. 
just the, the real reason. Uh, stylus are just stylus was a was a side was a side thing. But oh no, the chest! I need to go back there get the chest. Although the, the stylus the, the the stylus can still spawn in there. It's not just a if they're there then they're there. If they're not then you're never gonna get them. But because they they can spawn in. Oh the 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 lantern thing is happening. That's nice. It looks very nice. Actually, before I go back down there, let me see if I can make anything out of silk. Because I haven't checked that. I haven't checked that at all. And silk can be made into quite a lot of stuff. Guy, what's your name? Colin. Colin. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. What can I make out of the, the silk? What can I make? Beds? Lots of beds. A hero set. A superhero set. A maid set. A pink maid set. A tuxedo, fancy picnic table, vortex sofa, marble bed, nothing that interesting. Okay. I wasn't, I don't know what I was expecting, but I suppose it is fine. And is that? Oh, there's a, there's a gap here. Oh. And yet the person's still here. Hold on. There's, there's a one, there's one gap. I have to fix this. Hold on. Where's where's my stone? Where's where, where's my stone? Give me the give me the stone. I need to fix that. There's one block gap in that house, and it is very annoying. Why didn't I see that before? Why didn't I? Is there is there any other gaps? I hope not. But I why didn't I notice that there was a gap in that house? It it's right there on the map. There, there we go. Much better. And now let me just trash that, because I don't really need that. That's much better. Now there's not a gap in the house. I wonder, I wonder how many episodes you've been, you've been sending that? Remember the last, the, this episode and the previous two episodes are recorded in the same day. I, so anything that you said, I did not hear it. So, I am going to quickly go down the mine and see if there's a stylist, see if there's a goblin tinkerer. And see what was in that that um, not loot that chest down in the under in the in the, the, the spider vine because I need loot. Oh yeah, the cobwebs from the in the spider vine uh, actually respawn, so you can't get rid of them for for long because they'll just keep on respawning. It's not good. And I got a web slinger. That oh, there's that. Wall creeper was sneaking up on me real fast, like. But now I have a new hook, which might be longer than the other one. I'm not actually sure, but I know that it allows me to shoot up to eight different hooks at one time. Now, will is that actually useful? Um, not not really. I mean, it's it's not the, not the worst, but ooh, splunker. That's good. Uh, but it is better than my than my previous one, and it definitely looks better. So let me just take out this spider. And oh, 71 damage. That's quite a lot of damage. That's a lot more damage than I than I expected from from a simple wall creeper. I dropped a gold, but that is fine. I don't really need that one gold. I can always get it some other means. I end up getting a, a gravitation potion, which is is quite nice because it allows me to. Uh, go up in the sky and see if there's any other sky islands, which is always, always a good thing. But I want to check to see if there is a goblin tinker because they are a very, very useful uh, NPC, as I said earlier, because they allow me to get accessories and get upgrade my accessories get by getting a goblin workshop. So I'm actually gonna zoom out for a bit, even though it's it's not as good to see if I can spot myself a goblin tinkerer. I don't see a stylist in here, so I'm not gonna gonna bother. Actually, I'm gonna grab that gold. I'm gonna bother by grabbing that gold. Then I'm gonna keep going over to the right. Oh dear, spiders are coming. Get them. There we go. Take them out and continue this way. Oh, the salamanders are there. So you might not be able to see everything the best. But I do want to try and get the biggest range to see if I can find the Goblin Tinkerer because they are a very useful 
NPC, and I do not want to miss them because they are, well, they're very useful as I keep repeating over and over and over. So I need to stay in the cavern layer in order to actually, actually find them. So I need to go stay around this level or lower in order to find them. I'm hoping that I'll be able to find them in this episode because they are a very useful NPC as I keep repeating. There's a little bit down there to the left, so I wonder if they're going to be over down here. Let's see, Goblin Tinker, hello? Hello? No? In that case, I might as well just just put some bombs down here. Just to, just to make sure that, that they're not down here somewhere. Ah, my throat is the least happy thing. I'm just going to throw a whole load of scare bombs down here. There we go. Now we're going down. Down the caves. Oh, right into a, a little house. That is very useful. Well, I mean, it went. It obviously went a bit further down than the house. I'm going to take this picture, which has the mechanic and the goblin tinker, which I might use to decorate. Yes, I finally got a magic mirror, which is like a recall potion, but better because it just allows me to use it infinitely, which is a lot better. There's quite a bit of cobwebs here. Oh, because it's a spider biome. Huh, another spider biome, right into it. All right then, in that case, I'm going to explore this. I hope there's a stylist or a goblin tinkerer or some sort of new loot. And it appears that I'll be getting none of that because it is very small. So, instead, I'm going to drop a few of these down here to see if I can continue exploring down. And, oh, hold on. That's a gym tree. There's just a gym, a gym tree that grew down here. I didn't know that you could just find gym trees down in mines. And it, it was an amber gym tree. Just stumbled across a jamber gym tree. A jam... Uh, Amber Gym Tree. Oh, diamonds! That is very, very nice. Diamonds are always, are always good. Actually, I think I need diamonds to make the, to make the platinum staff. Though I feel like I might be past the point of a platinum staff, which I, I still want to get a magic weapon. Still want to, to equip a magic weapon because I feel like it'll be, be quite nice. Oh, hey, look, a little, little thing here. And a mine, or not a mine, a cave. I thought I would have seen the, uh, what are they called? The Goblin Tinkerer by now, because of how much I've been been exploring. Sadly, they haven't appeared yet, or haven't spawned in nearby yet, haven't found them. Which, I want to keep going until I find them, just in case they end up spawning up spawning in because they here they are I was about to say that they're very useful NPC and whatnot but here they are bound goblin thank you for freeing me human I was tied up and left here by other goblins by the other goblins you could say that we didn't get along very well goblins don't normally need nice homes but I'm not like most goblins perfect uh, perfect the lack of annoying neighbors adequately meets my needs ah the underground is nice quiet is a nice quiet place to construct more gadgets major like age ideas or is that what you said uh major like age all right let's see uh so i'm guessing that means that they like being in the underground just like the demolitionist all right so i'm really gonna need to make a underground house so i'm gonna need to get rock boots and especially the tinker's workshop because that is a lot more useful than than tinker so let me put some of this just put some of this stuff away here in the chest. Let's make sure that everything is properly in its in its proper place, and not just just strewn about willy nilly. So here we go. Put some of this stuff here. Some of that stuff there. And then actually, I don't think I have enough gold. 
to buy everything for the Goblin Tinkerer. Yeah, I might be... Actually, I might just have enough. Yeah, I think 21 might be enough. But I'm going to need to move the Goblin Tinkerer into here. So let me put them, let me put them in the treasure room. So now I have to wait for them to uh, spawn in. So while I do that, I'm going to quickly go up into the sky and see if I can find some floating islands. And here one is. Right, I, it didn't take that long. Let me zoom in. And now I have another place in case an NPC wants to spawn in. And a third shiny red balloon. What's what's the chances of that? Three shiny red balloons in a row. That has to be has to be pretty rare. But hopefully I'm able to find another sky island before I end up running out. And just like that, here it is. But it is sadly just a a cloud a, a sky lake. Which, while useful if you want to do uh, some fishing, might not be the best. And here's another one. Sadly, I was hoping for a lucky horseshoe. So then I don't take fall damage. Because I've been taking way too much fall damage. And here is a third sky lake. Really? Three sky lakes. How unlucky is that? Although, I wonder how many, how many sky islands there are. And here's one more Skyland, a Star Fury. That is actually quite useful because it, well, you attack and then it sh shoots a star down on my enemies. Which, although it might not be, then again, it might not be the best for right now because I think I may have already passed the point of its usefulness. But that's that's fine. It's it can be used for that for that zenith weapon that I saw later on. So, might as well continue to see if I can actually find a lucky horseshoe. Alright, one more chance. Hopefully, well, I mean, one more chance. And a lucky horseshoe. There we go. I finally got the thing that I need. There have been, actually, there have been quite a few uh, floating islands. I wonder if they increase the amount that can spawn in a world. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out. Another one. Okay. This seems like a lot more Skylands than normal. Ooh, a Sky Moon. Can be used for special crafting. So I bet they increase the amount of flying islands. So I wish I got the Sandstorm in a bottle from that temple. Because then I would have been able to get a bundle of balloons. But now I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to not get that. Even though it's, it's a very, very useful item. But, you know, it's fine. I can always go into another world and try and find it that way. But for now, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to stand not having that. And here I am, at the end of the world, which means I can now use my new magic mirror to teleport back, just like that. And I got two Lucky Horseshoes, which is quite good, I believe. I'm not gonna be using the Star Fury, but I can put it away there. I don't think the Goblin Tinkerer has arrived yet because, well, came to the houses yet because it's, it's not nighttime and they'll only teleport back when it turns to the night, to, to night. So I'm actually going to move the sky mill over here to the right because this is uh, where my specialized crafting things go, it's like that. So I can craft some specialized stuff, anyway, let me see. Lucky Horseshoe, do you craft anything new? Let me see here, Colin. Uh, nope, nope, nothing new. Uh, this one? Nope, nothing new. Wow, Sandstorm and Bloom, that would have been great. But sadly, I do not have that. Let me replace the Climbing Claws with it. Actually, no, let me replace the Feral Claws with it, because I don't really need melee attack speed at the moment. So let me put those in, away in the chest, and also some money. There we go. Now that that's in there. Now, I need to either go down to the to the Goblin Tinker, or wait for them to come up here. Uh, it's midday. I don't think I'm gonna wait for them for that long. But, 
Anyway, in the next episode, I'm thinking I might need to build a house, either underground or in the jungle, because some of the NPCs that I have want to live in those places. So if I'm going to build it underground, I feel like here in the in the mushroom biome that I have over here might be a good a good place for them. In the jungle, probably this area here between the mountain and the the little cliff the pit here that I went down. Cuz so that seems like a nice area which I might be able to have a little house there maybe to have the dryad and the who else? The painter? Did the painter want to go there? I can't remember. I think the painter wanted to go there. And whoever else might want to go into there. So, uh, but that will all be in the next episode. So, this is all I have time for in this episode. So, thanks for watching. I'll leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next episode. Three, two, one.